everyone, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today is going to be a get ready with me review of pretty much a full face worth of Danessa Myrick's products. I ordered a ton of stuff from her a month and a half, probably almost two months ago at this point. Maybe, is that right? Basically a long, long time ago. So needless to say, I've had these products for long enough to form a pretty good opinion about them. And I wanna share it with you here today as I get ready, hence the bare face. So let's go ahead and dive in. First, let's start with the base. I have two kind of hydrating primary bases. Is. There is the Illuminating Veil, and I got the shade Attraction, which is kind of a rose gold base. Now this, I think, both I think could be used on face and body, but you do get quite a bit more of this Illuminating Veil, and it is a little bit more opaque than the other alter alternative that I'll put on my face shortly. I do have a clip of me applying this to my face, and I actually, in case you missed it, talked about this in comparison to the Huda Beauty Naturamas Pantyhose. Very similar consistency, probably the closest in terms of a formula dupe to the Huda Beauty, but the Danessa Myricks is just a little bit more lotion-y and therefore I didn't find it to be quite as transfer proof as the Huda Beauty formula. But I still really like the formula, especially worn under the makeup to give a lit from within look or used as a highlight, you know, it tops your cheekbones or wherever it is you like to highlight. But I will say it has been harder for me to wear until very recently when I've gotten some sun because uh, this shade in particular just has a little bit more opacity to it and because it's it's been a hair deeper than my natural skin tone, it's looked a little unnatural for me to wear on my cheekbones or even on my body in places where it is just that much deeper. It looks very unnatural. So know that these are pretty opaque and so you're going to need to be a little bit conscious of a shade match for your skin because there are, I want to say, five different tones or shimmers available here. But I really love how lit from within it makes your skin look. Now the other product I have that I'm going to use right now is called the Prism Effects Hydrate hydrating lotion. And this, just like it sounds, is a, another similar lotion consistency. I mean, you can see here, relatively runny, watery, but still very hydrating. It has this beautiful pinky purple pearlescent tint to it. So what I, the way I like to use this is depending on the state of my skin that day, because, you know, since I've gotten these, we've gone from anywhere like cooler coming out of winter weather, spring weather, summer weather, back to spring weather. <laughs> it's been kind of crazy. So depending on the state of my skin for the day, I will either use this as the sole hydrator of my skin, or I will use this in addition to another hydrator, but I will wear it under a primer. So the primer that I'm going to use just after this is the um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer so that I can still get the finish, this beautiful pearlescent finish to my skin, allow the hydration to sink into my skin, but then still get a nice base that my makeup can cling to. And I think you can see it here, but just to point out, the purpley pink iridescence is very subtle. It's more like a natural highlight that when you put something a little bit more full coverage, like I'm going to over top, really just shines through as a healthy glow. It doesn't look like you're wearing, you know, purple or pink pigment all across your face. It does give, as you can see, kind of a white cast though when worn alone. So for that reason, I tend to only wear it under makeup. Otherwise, without something layered over top, uh, my face pretty much always looks lighter than the rest of my body. And now I just have a pump of that um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer that I'm applying all over. And I have a review of that in case you want to go check it out. While that's setting, I'm gonna tell you about the foundation concealer situation for today. So I thought she had two separate products, but it's just two different types of packaging, same product. It's called the Vision Cream Cover. So what's interesting is if you go to the foundation page, you she has a great shade selection. It's kind of hard to tell which shade is going to be a match for you because she doesn't have um, like arm swatches or any sort of swatch for a tonal comparison. So I just kind of took a guess. I got N4, which up until recently, again, has been a little too deep for me. And it's kind of been what delayed this review because I was debating, do I get a different shade? I don't really need any more product, etc, etc. But now I have some sun and can finally use this stuff. So when you go to what looks like the foundation pump page, you can get the full size or you can get a sample size for five or 10 bucks, I wanna say. I forget how much it was, but it's a great way to test and find your shade if you're unsure or you just like to use a few different shades as your highlight and contour and blend the two together. But then she has another dispenser for again, the same product in this pen type formula, but it's the exact same thing, just a different delivery method. So like I said, I am the shade N04. I believe my primer is currently set. So I'm going to go in with this. It has a clicky top here, as you can see, and here. 
And so I'm going to start applying that in my under eye area. It's pretty full coverage and a very hydrating formula too. Um, so I'm applying that to my under eye area, but I mean, at, at your first go, I would recommend using a light hand so you can really get a feel for the coverage because I was shocked at how full coverage with this is. And they do describe, or she describes it as being a foundation and concealer in one. So that really shouldn't have been a surprise to me, but I mean, it's pretty full coverage and very buildable. Um, like I said, it's a hydrating formula. So on my skin type, which is combo, tend to develop excess oil down the center and then be a little bit drier on uh, my cheeks, just the perimeter of my face. I find that I have to set this and she has a setting powder, um, but without understanding how hydrating this was, I didn't pick it up because I'm not a normal user of setting powder. I just don't really tend to prefer the way it looks on my skin. But just know that if you have oily or combo skin, I still think this can work for you because it gives this really beautiful, glowy, second skin sort of finish while still being pretty full coverage. But just know that you're gonna have to set it if you have combo or oily skin because otherwise I did notice it moving around quite a bit during the day, especially using it under some of the other cream products that I'm gonna talk about here later from her. So that is one layer. You can see I didn't put a ton on my skin. I'm just gonna go in with a teensy bit more on like little breakouts that I have, little bit of extra coverage in my under eye area. And this might be where you wanna take another shade, whether it's sample size, get a couple of these pens so that you can mix and match the two. Um, you know, if you say you want some brightening in your under eye area versus contouring on the exterior, but a little of this goes a really long way. Before moving out of the rest of my face, I'm just going to do my brows super quick. This is my Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel and my shade is medium brown. Now onto the rest of the face. She has these waterproof cream palettes, two of which are more bronzy contour shades and the other one's a highlighter shade. So I'm gonna first start with this contour palette. This is called the Essentials Palette and these are all just named like Essential 1, Essential 2, Essential 3, et cetera, et cetera. Or perhaps it is the reverse. I'm assuming it's this way though, because that's the way the back's oriented. And the packaging, I love this. It's kind of like Inglot's packaging where you just, it's magnetized at the four corners and then you can slide it off and it's a strong magnetic grip. So it's not gonna fly off if you throw this in your bag, but it's also still very sleek and compact. I just love this style. And then you can also put that on the back of your palette so you don't use lose your lid. You get six shades in this palette and those that are closest to being a contour for my skin tone are Essential 2, this middle one on the top, and Essential 1. Uh, recently, I've just been using Essential 2 now that I have a little bit more sun, but I basically just go in between the two of those to help even it out. I'm taking, this is a pure contouring, contour blending brush and just going, didn't get anything on my brush with those light taps. <laughs> this is definitely on the cooler side when it comes to bronzers or contours. Uh, for reference, I recently been using the new Huda Beauty Tantour in the shade Light, which by comparison is warm. So I've been using this for a while, came back to the Danessa Myricks and then realized just how cool it is by comparison. And those are kind of the two lighter tones in here. So if you tend to be have a warmer skin tone or even neutral skin tone, and you're not comfortable with wearing cooler undertoned bronzers or contours, then this might not work for you unless you can reach into one of these deeper, warmer tones and mix it with that lighter one to get your perfect match. I actually, if you're looking at this thinking that you're, if you're only gonna get good, good out of two of these shades as they match your skin tone or whatever two that might match your skin tone, I would look a little bit more closely because I thought the same thing until I realized that this um, deep warm brown up here, when sheared out on my skin, actually looks like a really beautiful terracotta. And so I've actually worn it as a blush. I'll insert that clip here, but I think this palette offers a little bit more versatility than um, many may think if they're not used to using and, you know, a bronzer as a blush, which then comes back to. And as far as formula goes, these palettes, both this and the highlight palette that I have, are very blendable. Like it's not disturbing the product underneath. And granted, the base is a very hydrating cream, um, but I've, I've used this over a couple different bases at this point. And as long as it, it, your foundation hasn't dried down to a very dry powdery base, this is not going to disturb what you have going on underneath. What I will say though is given that these are self-described as waterproof cream 
products. I thought these would dry down to a powder finish and be like super budge proof, but because they're on the more hydrating side, I do notice that they stay a little bit, not tacky, like it's not like my hair is getting caught up in it or anything, but it doesn't dry down to a powdery finish, which I think is gonna be good for those with drier skin types. But again, those with combo to oily skin might find that they need to set it with either a translucent setting powder or with just another product. Say you put a powder bronzer over top or a powder highlight like I'm gonna do here later. But just something to think about considering these do say they're waterproof. For my blush, I'm gonna go in with something called a Vision Flush. And this is meant to be used on the eyes, the lips, or the cheeks. And it's meant to be used as a sheer wash of color, which I just wanna point out in comparison to another product that I'm gonna use shortly after this. So it comes comes with this doe foot applicator, which makes it really easy to just dot on your cheeks like that. Although honestly, that's probably way too much product because it's very pigmented, but is very easy to sheer out across the cheeks, unless you're an idiot like me and apply too much. It's okay, we can fix this, <laughs> right? One dot this time, keep things under control. You know what I'm saying? And this is another product that's very hydrating, but as a result, I don't find dries down totally matte. So if you wear it on your cheeks, you'll, or I'm sorry, on, well, wherever you wear it, but specifically on your lips, which is what I meant to say, and I have a clip of me applying that here, it does not become transfer proof, which means it stays very comfortable on your lips, but it doesn't ever dry down. And so it's not super long lasting. Also, unlike any other of her products, this is the one that I found with the strongest scent. It's floral and perfumed, but also kind of synthetic. And so I find that that wasn't the most pleasant thing to have on my lips. It kind of surprised me at how strong it was. Normally I'm not super sensitive to scents like that on my lips, but for some reason with this, I was. On my eyes for my base, the other Vision Flush that I bought was in the shade Tiara, which is just a really beautiful gold shade. So just to show you how that looks on the lids, I'm gonna dab a little bit there and just blend that out across the lid and up to my brow bone actually, because the other two eye colors that I have to use which are totally budge proof. Um, I'm, they're more pigmented, so I'm not gonna take them all the way up there. So this will just be my general wash of highlight across the lid. It's really super beautiful. Also beautiful as a facial highlight, um, or you could use this under your foundation to give you, you know, a strategic lip from within if you just applied it to your cheekbones, etc. Everything she makes is like built for beautiful skin. And if you go follow her on Instagram, that should have been what I said at the beginning of this video. She has an amazing Instagram where she makes everything from more editorial makeup looks to very basic minimal neutral, or they look basic minimal neutral, but you can tell that the way she's done the skin is just so meticulous. It's beautiful, highly recommend you go follow her. Back to the facial highlight, I'm gonna go in with that waterproof cream palette. This one is called Fire and Ice and it is full primarily of a light frosty highlight shades, but does have a really beautiful warm coppery shade in there as well. You know, I love a good highlight layer, like using multiple shades across my cheeks to create a really dimensional highlight. This palette is amazing for that, but kind of like that contour, it's a hydrating formula. And so on my skin, I do find I need to just make sure I set it with something. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna go in with her powder highlight palette, which is also amazing. But I'm gonna try and use two different shades than I have before here. In the clip that you'll see now, I used the shade Supernova all over the tops of my cheekbones, which is like a, a pale iridescent pink. And then in my outer corner, I used the shade Starlight, which is uh, a more vibrant pink, which uh, with some distinct pinky peach shimmers in there. And I will say that overall, there is a mixture of textures in here. Some of these are very finely milled iridescent shimmers, whereas others are more metallic. Some have a chunkier shimmer in them. So you can definitely expect variety from this palette, which I also like. But on my face today, I think I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade, which is called Sunrise. It's one of those like white golds with a yellow shift to it. And I'm just going to pat that on the tops of my cheekbones for reference, because this is kind of an unusual brush. This is the Real Techniques Contour Fan Brush, but it was in a limited edition holiday set. So I'm not sure if this is a permanent brush or not, but it's a really nice brush for packing on highlights, specifically cream highlight. Um, and you can see this just gives a really nice soft flush to the skin. But then for something a little bit more intense, I'm going full on frosty with the shade Flame. That's not right. I think that has to be right. This shade, which is I guess a hot white with some intense shimmer down here. But going with that shade, 
and applying that just to my outer corner like so. Not going to get too intense though because like I said I am going to go in <laughs> with her powder highlight palette and those shades are intense. On to that powder highlight palette. This is called the Lightwork palette. I've actually mentioned this before on the channel very recently after I ordered all this, these products. This is one I started quickly using. You can see by the divots up here. Just because you get such a nice variety of shimmers and it's great for both the face and the eyes that this quickly fell into an all-in-one category for me. So if you're into a diverse a variety of powder highlights in, in a palette format, this is a nice one to reach for. So today um, I've been using Common Sense a lot, hence why it is so well loved and used. So I'm going to just add a pop of this Smooth Sailing, which is kind of a light pink, and that'll also help set my highlight up there. I mean, look at that intense frost. It's just so beautiful and glowy and explains so much why all of the models on her page just have this incredible lit from within skin because it looks like they bathe in this. Okay, so I'm gonna set this down for now, but I will pick it back up when it comes to the eyes. Right now though, I do wanna quick say that if I were to apply a translucent setting powder to set my whole face, this is when I would do it. Like after everything is applied, any, any cream product that I'm going to apply is done, this is when I would do it. I actually literally don't have any setting powder that doesn't have shimmer in it because I so love glowy setting powders that I have like the Laura Mercier glow powder, the Lancome glow powders, you know I love those. And so I've thrown out every non-shimmery setting powder that I have and I don't wanna add more shimmer to this look so I'm gonna go without. But just know, I highly recommend setting it with very, very lightly with something translucent just to make sure if you have combo oily skin that it lasts throughout the day. So now for the eyes. I'm going to use what might be my favorite product from her and was actually the first product that I ever tried from Danessa Myricks. It's her Color Fix 24 Hour Cream Product. Now, unlike the Vision Flush, which can also be used on the eyes, these are very pigmented, totally opaque, and dry down to an entirely powder finish, so I don't need to use any sort of base with these. I'm just going to go in as is. They they dry down, they don't budge. I have a tutorial on Instagram where I use the this matte color in all, all of you. All, I love you, but all of you. Um, so I'll link to that and I won't use it today just so you can get a little bit of variety, but instead I'm going to use the shade Coins, which is this really pretty copper. So to apply this, what I like to do is just take a fluffy rounded brush. This is a Morphe M513, but any sort of fluffy kind of crease blending brush will do. I will apply product either directly to my lid, but I find I have a little bit more control when I apply it to the brush because a little of this goes a long way. Tiniest, tiniest dot there. And then I will start working that into my lid. And you can see um, that Vision Flush from earlier has already started creasing on my lid. So I actually, hoping that doesn't make this um, crease, but I have, I have faith that it won't because this formula is like super steadfast. I have yet to experience it crease and I've had multiple different, like the first iteration of this formula I got was from a couple years back. And between then and now, I have yet to have any of these formula that budge under any circumstance. Okay, so there is that applied. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this no prob shade here, this bronze, which is a little too deep for me to sometimes use on my face, but is really beautiful in the eyes and complementary to um, this cream shadow. I'm just gonna start applying that to my inner corner and working it to the center of the lid. And then with a slightly smaller brush, I'm going in with like the, which is this frosty white shade and I'm using that in my inner corner. So I've just applied some mascara. I don't really have any lip products from her. So I'm just gonna go back in with that Vision Flush. Like I said, you can use it on the lips. So, but you've already seen a clip of that by now, I think. So I'm just gonna tap that a little bit because a little goes a long way and just blend that out. This is one scent that I haven't been able to um, get used to in my lip products and some people might be sensitive and some people might not. I normally am not but everyone's different so you never know just something to be aware of. And that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this getting ready with me style review of Danessa Myricks. I would love to hear your thoughts on the brand, products you love. Let us know down in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video.